Uh, hello everyone, welcome again and today uh, I'm going to show you the demonstration of another application in J2EE, JSPN Servlet. So uh, it's a, a seminar hall booking application, it's a BAB application and uh, it's using JSPN Servlet. So the backend is developed into the Servlet and the frontend is in JSP Servlet, HTML, CSS and Bootstrap and following the MBC architecture and as a build tool it's using Maven. To manage the backend uh, and to store the backend information, it's using MySQL. So here is my MySQL database and these are the tables, booking, hall, payment and users. If we check the user table, there are two types of users, admin and the end user or you can say the uh, customer. So let's run the application and see what the features and functionalities are available into this application and how can you run that. So if you have this project already, uh, just you need to follow this this step to the, in order to run the application. And if you don't have project and you want, you can connect us over the WhatsApp mail so we can uh, provide the information to grade the code. And also we have uh, remote support to set up the application at your machine. So don't worry about the configuration all. Multiple uh, services are available over the code one. So you can just uh, give an inquiry and you will get all the details over there according to the services and price. Thank you. And uh, let's uh, again come to the point and let's run the application. So in order to run the application, just right click on the application, go to run as run on server, select a server as a Tomcat 8.5, click finish. Automatically, the Tomcat server will start and the application will launch over your Chrome browser. Here, uh, this is your home page of the application. And here we have a two option, login and registration. For the registration, a new user can log in, uh, and also for the login, an uh, existing user can log in. Here, into the database, we have an admin user and other user as a uh, like uh, user one and the end user of the application. So, just I'm going to log in as a admin first, then we'll register as a new user and see what our new user can do over there. So, I'm going to log in as an admin first and let's see what admin can do so i just enter the credential for the admin and now what admin can see here admin can check the list of users also admin can delete the user if required admin can search any user by its uh, email id like this and when admin will hit the reset button the data will be displayed over there also admin can delete any user if required by clicking on delete button like this and here uh, add a hall so uh, let's say uh, for the new seminar we are going to add a hall here always you need to enter a unique id otherwise it will give an error like the id is already available so let's suppose uh, let me check existing ids according we will create so into the hall we have these ids so let's create a unique id h123 hall 234 and let's i'm going to enter just dummy data so you can enter a valid data while you're operating it uh, contact number hall capacity let's suppose 100 users and 100 members and hall services uh, like uh, for what services hall is providing over there food water and all so city and which city this is going to happen so i just enter the city name let's say mumbai and i just enter the hall address and the image of the hall so i'm just going to upload a dummy image you can upload any image a valid image of a hall as per the requirement so the hall is added successfully now if i refresh the database or the hall table it will display me the data over there also uh, how the key is uh, hall id is important here so let's uh, i'm going to create a duplicate record with the same id and uh, okay so as a cost so i'm going to meet it here cost and the capacity services city address image so it should be give me an error like the hall id is already exists so here a uh, hall id is already exists so always you need to enter a unique id and here into the book uh, into the hall list you can check the newly added hall here that we have h234 we have just added has the option to delete and detail so when i hit the detail button there will be an option to back or book the hall so user uh, if uh, i'm uh, currently i'm logged in as an admin so that's why I'm going, it's showing a 
back option so i just back to the um, all listed page here we have an option we can filter out the data according to the location uh, in the chain or let's say mumbai for the mumbai location we recently added one records displaying here when i hit the reset button it will display me the complete data and uh, booking section under the booking section i can check the requested hall the request for the halls by the end user admin have that access to confirm it cancel it or delete it so we'll we'll, we'll give one new request from the end user and we'll see this options in a while and here's a payment list so admin can check all the payments for payment things uh, that is done by the end user so uh, now let's keep it logged in as an admin and i'm going to open another window in my private uh, uh, browser and this time we are going to register as a new user and let's hit a new user let's say and new at the gmail.com this is let's suppose this is an id and the phone number 10 digit and the password i'm going to enter demo at the one two three hit the register button user registration successfully now i enter the same user and log in with the same user and i can check the list of all the users so recently we have added this uh, hall so i'm going to just navigate even to this now you can see we can see the option as a book as a complete detail <clears throat> when i hit the book option uh, I can say uh, I need to fill up some information. Some information is already fetching from the database for this user, like all name, new booking, and email ID. Uh, booking type, like it's can give, but it's going to be book for birthday, marriage, and what book was the purpose of booking. So we just need to as a, enter here as a type. Here we need to enter the date for which date we are going to book it. Let's suppose I'm going to book it for tomorrow and. <clears throat> Yeah, booking is successfully, but now if I check, uh, like I didn't see any option to, uh, like if I see here, it's showing me as a, a in process. Okay, so what I need to do, I just go here into my admin section and I can see the new request here by the new user. I can cancel it or I can confirm it. So I'm going to just confirm it. So I just hit the confirm button and you can see the whole uh, booking is confirmed. When I confirm it and I refresh my this page from the user side, I can see the payment, the status is confirmed and it's asking for the payment. So I just go here, enter the pass my card detail and pay that, that amount. Then uh, under the payment list, I can see the payment option, like payment is done for this particular user of a particular booking and the detail will also display to the user as well here into the payment list. I hit the logout option and that's it all about the uh, like seminar hall booking project in J2E. So if you need the source code, uh, just give an inquiry over the WhatsApp, email or uh, Skype so we can share the details with you. And don't worry about the configuration and explanation. We have multiple services. You can tag that uh, configuration support in case you face any issue while you are going to configure the project at your machine. Thank you.